requests to do a video on how to grow long healthy hair or just long healthy hair tips. My hair is pretty long right now. It is past my boobs so I'll just show you guys. It's curled right now so I mean straight it would be right there which is below my boobs. So it is quite long and it probably isn't the healthiest hair out there, but it's definitely, it looks shiny most of the time, it looks healthy. Please keep in mind that I am not a hair guru, I'm not a hairstylist, I never went to school for hair, anything like that. This is just my personal experience and what I've learned from just years of cutting and growing my hair. So my number one tip is always gonna be the same whether I'm talking about healthy skin, hair, or nails. And that is to watch what you put inside your body because beauty does work itself from the inside out. So it doesn't matter how many creams or you know different shampoos or conditioners, hair masks, those kinds of things that you use on your hair. They can only do so much. You need to really work from the inside out. So it's really important to know what you're putting into your body and how it affects your beauty, like your hair, your skin, your nails, and I guarantee if you eat healthily, you will see the difference. I have always been really lucky with my hair because it's always grown like a weed, but I totally think that that is due to the fact that I have a pretty healthy diet. I mean, I'm not perfect in any way. I definitely, you know, I don't eat 100% clean all the time or anything like that, but for the most part, for about like, say 90% of my diet, I do eat really healthy. So lots of fruits and veggies, drink your water, I'm not very good at that, but I do love fruit and veggies. Um, also whole grains, healthy fats, healthy proteins. Um, talking about fats, you know like olive oil is a really, really good source of a healthy fat to put in your diet. And just eat everything in moderation. Don't kind of stress out about it. You can still have fun once in a while and I definitely do indulge once in a while, but I try to keep like 90% of my diet healthy. What I'm also doing right now because of the fact that I am pregnant and it is also really helping my hair and my nails to grow super long and strong is taking a prenatal vitamin. Now, I am not recommending that everybody goes out and takes a prenatal vitamin because just for that reason. Um, I think that, you know, obviously if you're pregnant, it's something that you're supposed to take. So I'm not saying to all you teenage girls out there who are not pregnant to go out and buy these. Um, obviously check with your doctor if you really want to, but I do want to point out that ever since I started taking these, my hair and nails have been growing like crazy. Tip number two is to never ever overwash your hair. And I have seen the bad effects of this and the good effects. So basically I have a dry hair type and I'm lucky enough that I don't need to wash my hair every single day. Now I do understand that some people have an oily or a greasy hair type and you know your hair gets oily by the end of the day so you feel like you need to wash it every day. But nowadays with dry shampoos, there's no need for that. So you shouldn't have to wash your hair every day. And if you need to wean yourself off, you can do so. You don't have to go cold turkey and go from washing your hair every single day to washing your hair once a week because it's gonna look horrendous. I personally wash my hair twice a week and it's kind of like every three days and that works for my hair type because it is so dry. Now maybe on the third day I might need a little touch up. So I use a dry shampoo just like this one. This is Batiste dry shampoo and this is the floral and flirty blush one, um, the pink bottle. I really, really like this. You just massage it into your roots and it sprays white like the same as a talcum powder would. Tip number three is to say no to heat. Now this is a really, really hard one, especially if you're anything like me and you feel like your hair looks better with heat on it, which I definitely do. And in fact, for this video, I did heat style it a little bit. I didn't do too much. I just kind of, um, well, it's been rained on now, so it doesn't really look the, the greatest. But however, I never ever blow dry my hair if I can help it. Now, obviously if I'm stuck and if I'm in a hurry and I need to blow dry it, I will. But 
I go to bed on wet hair, which is perfectly fine. You won't catch a cold or anything. Just make sure to sleep on a towel. I wash my hair at night and because it is so long, it takes the whole entire night to dry. And even when I wake up in the morning, it's not completely dry, but I just let the rest air dry and it's fine. And then I style it the way that I want to style it. So try not to use a blow dryer. It is the worst type of heat that you could use on your hair. That and straighteners, I think, like flat irons, they're not good for your hair. If you do need to use heat on your hair every day or most days, make sure to use it on a lower setting. So even if you're blow drying your hair, try and use it on the cool setting. Or if you are curling or straightening your hair, usually with most hair straighteners and most curling irons nowadays, you can adjust the heat setting on it. So try and use a lower setting. Don't go up to the highest one, even though you might think you need to. And always, always, always use heat protectant on your hair. Every time you use heat on it, use heat protectant. So this is what I use right now. It's the Tresemme Heat Defense with UV Filter. If you have long hair or if you're trying to grow your hair super long, it is important to keep the ends nourished and as conditioned as possible and kind of moisturized as possible. So make sure that you're using the right products for that. Now, like I said before, I do have dry hair, so this kind of works to my advantage. If I had oilier hair, this probably wouldn't work as well. But I always make sure to buy an appropriate shampoo and conditioner. So right now I'm using L'Oreal LV Damage Care Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. And I always get Damage Care or Repair or Intensive Moisturizing or Intensive Care or something like that that will repair and kind of like help to maintain the ends because I do have split ends and I'm not, my hair is not perfect and I definitely do have some damage from the heat that I use on my hair. So you wanna make sure to counteract that. Another tip is to use a, an oil um, or a serum. So I just started using this oil. It's the Ojon Damage Reverse Instant Restorative Restorative Hair Serum. And that's what it looks like. And I just put one or two drops and then rub it in my palms and put it through my hair before I heat style it or just on an everyday. And this will just really nourish your, your hair, nourish the ends, um, protect it from damage. And you know, it's really good for if you're trying to grow your hair long because it'll keep the cuticles all sealed and nice and healthy. The final tip and the most obvious of all of these probably is to trim your hair regularly. However, this has kind of been argued a little bit, like some people say it's a myth, some people say it's not. I personally think, just from experience, that you should trim your hair regularly, but I don't think you need to trim your hair as regularly as people may tell you or as your hairstylist may think if you're trying to grow your hair. If you're trying to maintain a certain length, well then obviously you need to trim it more often. But if you're trying to grow your hair, I would say even like, just depending on how the damage is, maybe twice a year, I probably get my hair cut or trimmed about once or twice a year, if, if that. If you don't get your split ends trimmed, then your hair is gonna just get brittle and it's gonna get frail and kind of pull apart. And that definitely happens, when I see that happening to me, I know it's time for me to get a haircut or a little trim. So those are my tips for how to grow healthy long hair. I hope they helped you guys and hopefully you learned something new. Like I said, I'm not an expert. This is just what I've learned from personal experience, but I hope that I helped at least some of you guys out there. So thank you so much for watching this video. I will put pictures and product info all on my blog, anasacconi.com. And if you want to request more videos, just go to my form spring. I will leave the link to that down below. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.